So in this section now we will talk about the breech birth. If the baby is uh, at term uh, at, with the breech presentation, what are the steps that can be performed to do the breech birth or breech delivery? So we will talk about what should be the mode of delivery with the breech malpresentation then vaginal breech delivery, how vaginal breech delivery is performed and then what are the different steps for the management of breech labor and delivery. The mode of delivery of breech presentation, elective C-section and planned vaginal delivery. It's important that with the breech malpresentation, usually the delivery should be planned. Whether they want to do the C-section or obstetrician decide to do the vaginal delivery, it should be planned and should not be in emergency. Maternal choice and failure to detect breach presentation. Sometimes uh, a mother is given the choice whether they want the uh, normal delivery or whether they prefer the C-section. But sometimes also what happens is uh, there is failure to detect breach presentation. And then uh, if the uh, delivery or uh, labor starts and then the obstetricians try to do the normal vaginal delivery, with breach presentation and they find out that it's breach sometimes they have to go for emergency c sections also so maternal choice and failure to detect is also responsible for what method is uh, chosen for the delivery prerequisite for vaginal breach delivery Prerequisite, this is the picture again of complete breach, incomplete breach, and frank breach. If complete breach, both legs are flexed. In incomplete, one leg is flexed and one is extended. And in frank breach, both legs are extended. Prerequisites, fetomaternal presentation should be either extended or Flexed. No evidence of fetal pelvic disproportion and hyperextension of fetal head. So there should be no evidence of fetal pelvic disproportion. If the pelvic cavity is smaller as compared to the fetus, then it should not be tried to deliver vaginally. And if the head of the baby is hyperextended, and then that's also, it uh, should not be performed. These are few prerequisites for the vaginal breach delivery. Management of labor. Fetal well-being should be carefully monitored. It's very important that fetal well-being is monitored and then the fetal heart tracings are recorded and fetal and maternal uterine contractions are recorded. All that should be uh, carefully monitored during the uh, delivery. Epidural analgesia is given. Fetal blood sampling is important before the delivery. So all these uh, uh, steps should be uh, followed. Fe fetal well-being is monitored, analgesia is given, and fetal blood sampling. Operator experienced in delivering breech babies. It's very important that the operator or the obstetrician or the uh, assistants, they are very well aware of the breech deliveries and they have experience in performing breech vaginal deliveries. 
The important technique that is uh, performed for the uh, breech valve presentation is uh, usually known as the masterly inactivity breech hands off. Hands off here means the obstetrician or the helper who are performing this delivery, usually they should keep their hands off and they do not uh, uh, manipulate or handle with the delivery until the, uh, uh, the umbilicus of the baby is uh, uh, comes out or is visible. And because the handling at this stage can lead to serious complications that can even cause uh, uh, the mortality or death of the baby because of the um, uh, uh, delay in the delivery of the after coming head that can cause uh, complications like uh, brain uh, uh, ischemia or brain complications of the baby and this is a masterly inactivity the name that comes from the master masterly inactivity is because the person who is master in delivering the breech babies or uh, breech deliveries, they are uh, their masterly or their uh, in, uh, 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 superiority in delivering this baby is considered when they let this baby deliver on its own for uh, until the umbilicus is out. If they will handle it that way, the outcome is usually better than if the handling is done early and it can cause uh, shoulder dystocia, it can cause fracture of the mm, head, skull, or it can cause a fracture of the hip also. So handling is not effective in the early stage of the breach presentations. So this is the diagram you can see. Once the umbilicus comes out, then the, uh, the uh, uh, person or obstetrician delivering the baby, they grasp the baby with one hand under and then holding the baby in the hand and then trying to keep the head of the baby flexed. So hyperextension can, can be avoided. That can also lead to complications of the uh, uh, delivery or complications of breach presentation. So that was all about our section in which we talked about the breach delivery and how it can be managed and what are the some prerequisites for the breach delivery of the uh, baby. Thank you for watching scardia.com.